Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna go over what the top 10 engineering disciplines actually do, what kind of future demand there is, and how much they get paid. Let's go. So maybe you're thinking about studying engineering, but which type of engineering? With so many different engineering fields, how do you choose? This video can help with that. So this is a list of the top 10 most studied engineering disciplines in the United States. For each one, I'm gonna briefly go over the type of work they do, what type of future job demand there is, and the starting and average pay for each discipline. So I've ranked them based on a combination of future demand and financial opportunity. So with that, let's jump in with number 10, civil engineering. Civil engineers are involved with everything infrastructure, buildings, roads, dams, canals, bridges, public works, transportation, and water management. They survey building sites, analyze environmental impact, design structures, supervise construction, and verify government compliance. So with a civil engineering degree, some of your potential careers include structural engineer, transportation engineer, geotechnical engineer, environmental engineer, construction engineer, and water resource engineer. So as far as the opportunity goes for civil engineering, here's what the numbers say. Civil engineering is the fourth most studied engineering discipline in the United States. By 2031, demand is projected to go up by 7%. The average starting salary is $73,901, and the average overall salary is $97,380. Number nine, mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineers are involved in basically anything that moves. Robotics, machinery, manufacturing, engines, motors, vehicles, heating, cooling, and energy flow. They analyze and build more efficient engines and forms of transportation. They create and streamline manufacturing processes, and they improve performance of machinery by controlling heat and fluid flow. With a mechanical engineering degree, some of your potential career options include mechanical design engineer, thermal engineer, manufacturing engineer, systems engineer, HVAC engineer, and quality engineer. So now let's look at the opportunity for mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering is currently the number one most studied engineering discipline in the United States. Between now and 2031, demand is projected to go up by 2%. The average starting salary is $75,400, and the average overall salary is $100,820. Also, a quick side note, if you're interested in mechanical engineering, I've made a longer video on everything you'll learn in mechanical engineering, and then also another video on everything you can do with a mechanical engineering degree. I'll put links for those in the description. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Also, if you're thinking about studying engineering or any other STEM discipline, be sure to check out my book. I wrote this book to serve as a true roadmap, a guide for anybody to have success in an engineering or STEM discipline. Mindset, time management, studying performance, and exam performance all in here. It's getting a ton of great reviews and helping out a lot of students. So if you're a new student or if you're just a current student that's struggling with your classes, be sure to check this book out. I guarantee it'll help you. It's available in paperback, ebook, and audiobook. I'll put links in the description. Thanks for the support. Number eight, industrial engineering. Industrial engineers are heavily involved with manufacturing, process flow, efficiency, data collection, data analysis, and continuous improvement. They design and streamline manufacturing processes they build specialized manufacturing tooling. They use key metrics like turnaround time and failure rate to look for systemic issues and ways to improve. And they build special software tools to analyze large amounts of data to make it more useful. With an industrial engineering degree, some of your potential career options include manufacturing engineer, continuous improvement engineer, quality engineer, and process engineer. So what does the opportunity look like for industrial engineering? Currently, it's the eighth most studied engineering discipline in the United States. By 2031, demand is projected to increase by 10%. The average starting salary is $63,840, and the average overall salary is $98,560. Number seven, materials engineering. Materials engineers are heavily involved in the development, testing, and use of new and existing materials, like plastics, composites, metals, and semiconductors. And their expertise is heavily sought after in the tech, computing, aerospace, and defense industries. They analyze materials at a crystalline and atomic level. They develop new materials based on strength, geometric, flexibility, environmental, and lifespan requirements. And they develop testing to understand and improve new and existing materials. With a degree in materials engineering, some of your potential career options include metallurgical engineer, composites engineer, 
plastics engineer, and semiconductor engineer. So what does the opportunity look like for materials engineers? Materials engineering is the 10th most studied engineering discipline in the United States. Between now and 2031, demand is projected to increase by 6%. The average starting salary is $75,992, and the average overall salary is $105,420. Number six, electrical engineering. Electrical engineers are involved in a very diverse range of different areas. Power generation and distribution, RF and wireless communication, electronic component development, control systems, and automation. They design intricate circuitry for electronic devices. They develop and maintain radio frequency equipment for wireless communication and radar. They create procedures and equipment for electronic product testing. And they play a huge role in the design and maintenance of electric power distribution for buildings, towns, and cities. With an electrical engineering degree, some of your potential career options include test engineer, RF engineer, systems engineer, controls engineer, printed circuit board engineer, and power engineer. And so as far as the opportunity goes for electrical engineers, it's currently the third most studied engineering discipline in the United States. By 2031, demand is projected to go up 3%. Currently, the average starting salary is $77,023, and the average overall salary is $114,050. Number five, biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineers are involved in the development and testing of medical devices, imaging equipment, pharmaceutical products, prosthetics, gene therapy, implants, wearable biofeedback technology, and nanorobotic. They design replacement limbs, organs, implants, and their delivery systems. They help to create complex computer simulations to test new pharmaceuticals and other therapies. They develop and maintain complex imaging and other equipment like CT and MRI machines, surgical robotics, and blood testing equipment. And they're involved in the development of nanorobots, which will soon be capable of drug delivery and precision surgery. With a biomedical engineering degree, some of your potential career options include biochemical engineer, genetic engineer, bioinstrumentation engineer, biomechanical engineer, and rehabilitation engineer. Also, a quick side note, if you're interested in medicine, many biomedical engineers actually go on to become medical doctors. Med schools love to see biomedical engineering as the undergrad. So now what's the opportunity like for biomedical engineering? Well, it's currently the seventh most studied engineering discipline in the United States. By 2031, demand is projected to go up by 7%. Currently, the average starting salary is $65,321, and the average overall salary is $108,060. Number four, aerospace engineering. Aerospace engineers are instrumental in the development and testing of all sorts of aircraft and spacecraft. Helicopters, airplanes, satellites, missiles, rockets, and drones of all shapes and sizes. They are experts in fluid flow, aerodynamics, structural design, and combustion. They analyze aircraft failures and damage to improve safety safety, and quality of future flights. And they develop technology and equipment for use in the defense, transportation, and propulsion industries. With a degree in aerospace engineering, some of your potential career options include aeronautical engineer, astronautical engineer, quality engineer, and aircraft maintenance engineer. And so what's the opportunity look like for aerospace engineers? Well, currently it's the ninth most studied engineering discipline in the United States. By 2031, demand is projected to go up by 6%. The average starting salary is $80,502, and the average overall salary is $127,090. Number three, computer engineering. Computer engineers are involved in the development and testing of electronic components and computer hardware. Their expertise is key in the development of robotics, control systems, software, and networks. They work with software developers to create the phones, tablets, and game consoles that we use every day. They design and maintain the massive networks that connect everyone. And they continue to push the boundaries with the development of smaller and smaller components, enabling faster processing and artificial intelligence to continue its growth. Just think if electrical engineering and computer science had a baby, that's computer engineering. With a degree in computer engineering, some of your potential career options include hardware engineer, printed circuit board engineer, software engineer, machine learning engineer, and network engineer. And so what's the opportunity look like for computer engineering? Well, it's currently the sixth most studied engineering discipline in the United States. By 2031, demand is projected to go up by 6%. Currently, the average starting salary is $99,584, and the average overall salary is $140,830. Number two, chemical engineering. Chemical engineers play a huge role in several industries by ensuring the efficient production of vital chemicals 
and substances. Their expertise is highly sought after in industries such as pharmaceuticals, fossil fuels, mining, food production, and technology. They specialize in creating and controlling the process of converting raw materials into useful products like food, hygiene products, composites, and plastics. And they play a crucial role in the research for new drugs to fight disease and increase longevity. With a degree in chemical engineering, some of your potential career options include process engineer, petroleum engineer, environmental engineer, manufacturing engineer, materials engineer, and mining engineer. And so what's the opportunity look like for chemical engineering? Well, it's currently the fifth most studied engineering discipline in the United States. By 2031, demand is projected to go up by 14%. Currently, the average starting salary is $82,190, and the average overall salary is $117,820. And number one, computer science. Computer science graduates are involved in the creation and testing of software used in mobile applications, web applications, and operating systems. Their expertise is essential in the advancement of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and manufacturing automation. They develop programs for analyzing and processing large data sets. They design cybersecurity systems and infrastructure. They shape our interaction with various electronic devices like phones, tablets, computers, and all sorts of electronic equipment. And their expertise enables autonomous operation of vehicles, airplanes, and weaponry. With a degree in computer science, some of your potential career options include software engineer, systems engineer, applications engineer, web developer, and network engineer. All right, so now let's look at what the opportunity looks like for computer science. It's currently the second most studied engineering discipline in the United States. By 2031, demand is projected to go up by a whopping 25%. The current average starting salary is $99,618, and the current overall average salary is $132,930. There you have it. That was a ton of information. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. And you know, there's really no wrong choice when it comes to engineering. The most important part is that you're interested in the material that you'll be learning and the work you'll be doing. But it would be a little bit irresponsible to say that salary, demand, and market outlook shouldn't play a role in your decision. Speaking of that, in case you're interested, I got all my numbers for this video from the Bureau of Labor Statistics and salary.com. But that's it for now, so be sure to check back for more engineering tips, advice, experience, and information. But until next time, thanks for watching and keep up the good work.